Hello everyone and welcome back to yet another episode of Red Cape Sports. I'm your host, Bird Bouchard. Thank you all so much for joining me. Uh, I'm incredibly excited to be back with what should be a relatively fun, weird, um, makes you really want to think episode. Uh, now just bear with me um, because I, I'm personally going to have a lot of fun with this episode um, because I just pulled 1990. 91 NBA hoops cards um, and maybe I'll reveal them in another episode but boy oh boy did I ever get at least in my opinion some good hits um, so Mitch surprised me with a nice box there um, and personally I think I did really well now I got one card um, and the card didn't really mean anything to me, but of course, when you're looking at the prices of cards, you start Googling um, to see what things are worth. Um, but me, I'm I'm wired differently, so I'm always looking into Googling deeper, I guess. And uh, I realized something strange with this Mark Jackson card. Um, most people don't know Mark Jackson. I mean, he was a decent player. Uh, let's see here. He was basically averaging 19 points in college, uh, 17 points in his second year. This card that you can see here, and again, these are sold listings. I'll just leave them on this sold listing and I'll reveal why this video is relevant in just a second. Bam. How two murderers were spotted on an old Mark Jackson trading card. That's right, guys. Um, NBA Hoops made a big boo-boo. You see these two guys circled? These are the Menendez brothers. Um, long story short, these guys were murderers, and then they were apprehended. So they committed murder in 89, apprehended in 1990. This photo was taken after, <laughs> um, after they committed the murder. Um, but no one really knew at the time, but the crazy thing is they were apprehended and then whoever was in charge of these hoops cards made a big big boo-boo because sitting courtside are two murderers Which is absolutely crazy, but of course, I'm not gonna make you all read this uh, this phenomenal little article here um, If you guys want to read it that again, here's the title everything you need to know um, pretty easy to find on Google but the crazy thing to me um, aside from the price is the fact that it took 30 years for someone to spot this I mean these these are murderers and the crazy thing too for those of you who don't know is eBay actually cancels some of the bids on these cards so full disclaimer uh, because eBay will not allow and mind you some do get through as I'm about to show you but for the most part eBay's rules and regulations do not allow you to purchase anything in any regards to murdering and killing um, which is kind of crazy because I mean this this is something else and I mean one of my favorite baseball cards of all time is it's not even a rookie card or anything um, it's not even a it, it it's pretty cool it's a short print but it's a skip schumacher card because it's the only time ever that a professional baseball player's face does not appear in a picture now mind you sometimes uh tops for example gets things wrong um, and i mean look no further than a future hall of famer in my opinion in miguel cabrera because his face isn't on one of the cards now it's his card but his face isn't in it um, but the thing with the Skip Schumacher card is they have the rally squirrel rather than anyone's face. And it's the first time ever that that's happened. Um, and I actually own one of those cards. Don't have it with me right now. Um, somewhere stored away. Still got to find it. But uh, yeah, you know, I've always been a fan of these different kinds of cards. And this one is just so crazy. And matter of fact... I pulled two of them today. So I pulled two of these Mark Jackson cards. Um, yeah, I know. I have them in Young Gun top loaders, but what are you going to do? Uh, COVID, uh, COVID struggles, we'll call it. Um, but <laughs> let's get back to the main reason why you're all here. Um, so I do have this filtered 
Um, this is actually American dollars. And I have this filtered on sold listings. So you can see here, okay, whatever, $3, $5, $3. It is what it is. But look at these guys. $99 with $15.26 shipping. And look at this. Ended May 14th. May 14th. That's today, guys. So I'm literally putting out this video. And again, I'm not saying this card is going to blow up in terms of pricing. But we see here two separate cards. And they're not mine, by the way. Full disclaimer, they are not mine. But two separate cards sold for $100 American each, um, which is crazy. Absolutely crazy. Now, I'm going to take off complete items because you're all like, well, why are you making this video? Um, well, here's the thing. I'm going to switch it to best match, and I'm going to switch it to price plus shipping. What was first? And it's going to do its thing. Look at that. Buy it now. $3 with $1.25 shipping. This one's got a bid. Yeah, the shipping's high, but look at this one. $14, including the shipping, and it's a lot. Okay, here's a dollar. You guys get the point. These cards are currently going for cheap, but I got a feeling that if something catches on, and if you can actually purchase these and even sell them and get through eBay's rules and regulations, there's some good money to be made. I don't know about you guys, but I personally love sports cards, again, that tell a history, have a story, and their background. I mean, how many people can say that they own a card with two apprehended murderers on the card? It's, it's absolutely mind-boggling, the fact that it took 30 years for someone to notice this. Is, is absolutely mind-boggling to me guys so that's really it um, that's that's the video but I don't know I mean I want to know what you guys think can this Mark Jackson 1990 NBA hoops card become something and for me personally you know um, I'm always preaching buy low sell high like anything whether it be the stock markets whether it be any single type of investing um, but I mean, even lots here, not saying that you're going to win it for 99 cents, but four of them for $18 American, that's not bad. And I mean, as I scroll up here as well, we see some buy it now. Sure, that one's a reprint, but okay. I mean, even, even with shipping and maybe the shipping's only high because I have it sent to from shipping to America to Canada, uh, but regardless, these prices, you have to admit, are very cheap. And if you can manage to even get $50 for it, or 10 or 20 or whatever it might be, I feel like there's a pretty good chance to have a good ROI on it. So anyways, guys, that's just me. Those are my thoughts, comments, and opinions. But that's just one man. I want to know from you all. Will this Mark Jackson card, or any single one of these, blow up? Personally, I feel like it might not blow up to the point of, you know, these cards turn into $100 cards, but I feel like easily $20, $30, $40 cards. I really do. I feel like, I mean, there's there's history in this card. I mean, and you really can't say that about too many other cards. And there's just something to be said about that. So again, let me know, please, what you think down below in the comments um, and let me know are you going to pick one of these up? So, till next time, guys, keep on collecting, keep on stacking.